3D Endo software takes you step-by-step -step through the treatment planning process. The fourth step of the process is where we will define the trajectory between the previously identified entrance and apex of each canal. Initially, the software creates a line between the two points. Click and hold to select a point on the line to adjust. Drag that point over to center it in the canal. When you release it, the line will adjust to the canal. You may want to do this a couple of times with a couple of different points on the canal. Recenter the line in each of the windows in this manner. The lower right hand window shows a black square when you scroll through the slices moving along the trajectory of the canal. When you are satisfied with your trajectory, simply go back to the left side menu, click on the next canal name, and repeat the process. Here we see the distal buckle canal. In the left side window, we'll click on the line and hold it at about the midpoint. We drag it more towards the canal. When we release it, we see how it adjusts. Next, we move to the center window and adjust the line in the mid-root area. Here's the MB1. A few clicks in the left side window, dragging the points appropriately, helps the 3D Endo software mark the canal space. Go back and forth between the windows to get the optimal alignment. The MB2 needs just one adjustment point in the center of the root when looking at the left side window view. Two or three clicks in the center view and we get better alignment there. The intra-root view is helpful in this particular canal as we adjust the trajectory. You do not need to spend a lot of time on this step. Getting close will set you up quite nicely for the subsequent treatment planning steps. The distal buckle 2 is next a few adjustments in the left and the center window gets us close. Before we click on the Continue button, let's look at the results. Click on the Switch View drop-down at the top of the center window and select 3D. We can rotate this view using the left mouse button and all of our canal trajectories are color-coded for easy identification. You can clearly see the complexity of this canal network in this example. With this view, you can anticipate curvatures and see where canals merge, all before ever opening the tooth. When you're satisfied with your canal trajectories, click the red Continue button in the upper right-hand corner to go to Treatment Planning.